I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Dr. Hussein, welcome to the Valder BB Show for the first time. Thank you so much for having me, Valder. Dr. Hussein, summer's here and we still got this COVID-19 vaccine dilemma. It's still rolling out. Can you, can you discuss some important safety precaution parents and family should keep in mind as we go into summer? Sure, and I think that's a really great point. You brought up that summer's here, we're able to get outside, thank goodness, be able to socialize safely. But I think one thing we have to realize as though we have vaccines around, there's still a good proportion of the population that is not vaccinated, our young children included, the children 12 and under. So vaccines are just part of our strategy. Testing and frequent testing is another part of the strategy. Things that we should keep in our mind when we're socializing and trying to do so safely and prevent the spread of COVID-19. Other really important aspects are absolutely masking if you're not vaccinated, social distancing, hand washing. All of these things are really important when trying to prevent the spread going into the summer. Dr. Uh, Hussein, my audience listens to me on a multiplex of platforms, and this one's coming from uh, Facebook. They would like, to, I'm sorry, Instagram. They say they keep hearing vaccines for 12 and up, you mentioned under 12. Are there vaccines for kids under 12? Not yet approved, but there are still trials being conducted by both the major companies that we've heard of so far, Pfizer and Moderna, but not yet approved by the FDA for children 12 and under. Okay. Thank That's why you, it's Coaster. so important that we do still practice those safe um, techniques that we just mentioned. Masking when you're indoors, trying to have gatherings outside, distancing, hand washing, and of course, testing frequently if you are concerned that you're potentially at risk or having symptoms of COVID-19. Dr. Hussein, is there a new self-test that can help families plan their summer activities? Definitely. So I'm glad you asked that. Actually, Abbott's Binax Now self-test is something that can be really helpful for families as they make decisions and have confidence to go out safely into gatherings over the summer. With the test, you actually don't need a prescription. It's available over the counter and the results are available almost instantaneously within 15 minutes rather than having to send out and wait for the results. Again, I think this is a really helpful tool in our toolkit when making decisions and having the confidence that we're doing things safely and pre potentially preventing the spread of the disease. Why continue testing? And this is just a question. Why continue testing when people are getting the vaccines? Yeah, I, Valter, I think that's a really great question. And one thing I have to say is, again, we do have vaccines, but we know a good portion of the population is not vaccinated, including children. Children make up a huge part of community immunity. So when you're making these decisions, you have to keep in mind that there is still a portion of the population, considerable portion, that's not vaccinated. So when we're doing our decisions about should we go outside, should we stay indoors, are we vaccinated, are we not vaccinated, should we gather with this individual, I think testing is just another tool in our toolkit when making all these decisions, especially with a part of our population that's so vulnerable and, and not really eligible for vaccines like we just said. Dr. Hussein, how, how does this new test work? Is it complicated or, you know, is it easy to use? Really good question, and I'm glad you asked that. It's actually not complicated. It's a very minimally invasive nasal swab. You actually don't have to put it too far deep at all. The only thing we recommend is that children two years of age and older, so that's who the test is approved for, that adults perform that swab on the child to make sure we're getting the best accurate technique. Thereafter, it works just simply very easily. You would be able to rub that swab and see that if one line, a single line is a negative test, and and two lines would indicate a positive test result. The important thing to remember though is actually within the package you get two tests. So we recommend two tests within the three-day period 
preferably it's really important to make sure you wait at least 36 hours after the first test. So again, this is very helpful when frequent testing can help identify and pick up symptoms and help you make the safest choice for not only yourself, your family, but those around you. Okay, sounds pretty easy. Where do we find these self-tests then? Sure, so they're actually available at most major retailer stores. So we're talking drug stores, pharmacies, grocery stores like Walmart, CVS, Walgreens, and they're all, again, very affordable price for $23.99. You get in the package two tests to be able to perform those two tests that we just talked about within the three-day window. So again, I think it's just a matter of not only affordability, but actually ease of access and, again, accuracy when moving forward into the summer. I want my audience to know I had the opportunity to bring you today Dr. Saida Hussein. She's a medical doctor, a board-certified pediatrician, providing great care. Dr. Hussein, thank you so very much for that information. It's so needed at this time to kind of help people have a better understanding. I'm very honored you stopped by the Valder BB Show. Oh, no problem. Thank you again, Valder, for having me. Have a great day. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB Show, broadcast on radio and television, and this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.